four days or where? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm in rehearsal, so. Oh, yes, ma'am. Funny thing. I can't see. It's going to be like ten. What's the total time, please? Three. Three? God, we'll be told faster. <laughs> Whoopi, it is good to see you as always. Thank you. And congratulations on your performance Thank in you. The Ghosts of Mississippi. Now, Whoopi, you absolutely continue to amaze me, really. <laughs> I, it's just so fantastic. I mean, the, the v variety of talents that you have. But let's talk about this woman you play, Mrs. Evan, Mrs. Evers. Excuse me. Let's talk about this woman you play, Mrs. Evers. You got to meet her and got to know her, as I understand it. Right. What kind of woman is she? She's an amazing woman. She's uh, a woman uh, who evolved out of deep trauma, traumatic experience, uh, whose idea uh, was that she was going to grow old with her husband and raise their children. You know, she never saw herself as really doing much more than that, and that was okay with her. But Medgar's death uh, catapulted her in a way that she was not prepared for, and you know, no one ever is really. But she, uh, she got through. She got through. Those thirty some years when she was trying mm -hmm. to get justice, mm -hmm. um, was it out of love and respect for her husband? Was it that she wanted to better racial relations? What What was her motivation during those thirty years? Well, the fact that the man who murdered her husband was walking the streets and boasting about it. That was her motivation, you know, that was a big motivation, was to get him off the street uh, and see justice served as it, as it should have been served 30 years before. Uh, and that was the, the focal point for her. Do you think people will go see this film? Will be, and the reason I ask that is because I thought Malcolm X was a wonderful picture. Mm -hmm. And yes, it did okay, but everybody in this country should have seen it. Well, you know, it's hard to gauge movies anymore. It's hard to know what gets people out to see. There are no explosions in this, per se, you know. There are no special effects, uh, no strange creatures coming out, except for Byron D. LeBeckwith. Um, I don't know if people will go and see this movie, but the ones that do will get it, you know, they'll get it. Well, Whoopi, the three minutes have gone on too fast, but it's good to see you again. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on your performance. It is a truly wonderful performance. Thank you. Yes. Funny thing. I can't see. It's going to be like ten. What's the total time, please? Three. God, Whoopi, talk faster. <laughs> Whoopi, it is good to see you as always. Thank you. And congratulations on your performance Thank in you. The Ghosts of Mississippi. Now, Whoopi, you absolutely continue to amaze me, really. <laughs> I, it's just so fantastic. I mean, the, the variety of talents that you have. But let's talk about this woman you play, Mrs. Evan, Mrs. Evers, excuse me. Let's talk about this woman you play, Mrs. Evers. You got to meet her and got to know her, as I understand it. Right. What kind of woman is she? She's an amazing woman. She's uh, a woman uh, who evolved out of deep trauma traumatic experience, uh, whose idea uh, was that she was going to grow old with her husband and raise their children. You know, she never saw herself as really doing much more than that, and that was okay with her. But Medgar's death. Uh, catapulted her in a way that she was not prepared for and you know no one ever is really but she uh, she got through she got through those 30 some years when she was trying mm -hmm. to get justice mm -hmm. um, was it out of love and respect for her husband was it that she wanted to better racial relations what what was her motivation during those 30 years? Well, the fact that the man who murdered her husband was walking the streets and boasting about it. 
that was her motivation. <laughs> you know, that was a big motivation was to get him off the street uh, and see justice served as it as it should have been served thirty years before. Uh, and that was the the focal point for her. Do you think people will go see this film? Will be and the reason I ask that is because I thought Malcolm X was a wonderful picture, mm -hmm. and yes, it did okay, but. Everybody in this country should have seen it. Well, you know, it's hard to gauge movies anymore. It's hard to know what gets people out to see. There are no explosions in this, per se. You know, there are no special effects, uh, no strange creatures coming out, except for Byron D. LeBeckwith. Um, I don't know if people will go and see this movie, but the ones that do, We'll get it, you know. They'll get it. Well, we'll be, the three minutes have gone on too fast, but it's good to see you again. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on your performance. It is a truly wonderful performance. Thank you.